the, uh, the new technologies and the innovation around them uh, that are related to uh, Internet of Things and the physical Internet uh, can have huge impact on, on multiple industries and also on, on smart cities. On industries, uh, what we'll see mostly is uh, facilitating all the visibility, the traceability, the ease of flow uh, through those industries, uh, easing the transactions uh, and so on, and, and building the, 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 the industries as, as a real ecosystem that are vibrant. Same goes with cities. Uh, the Internet of Things will, will make the connections between the streets, what's happening, the pulse of the city, getting the sensor in and brought up for analytics decision. And, and then the physical Internet will ease all the logistics, transportation, inbound, outbound, and across the, the city, uh, easing it, the deployment of products and the, and the production also. Uh, those that are going to be benefiting the most uh, will be uh, on one side you've got all the manufacturers and on the other side you'll have all the retailers and e-commerce e uh, retailers uh, all around. So those are going to be the, the two groups that are going to be benefiting the most and among those uh, the ones where uh, they have to flow a lot of goods like consumer goods or, or uh, automotive uh, everywhere where there's a lot of flow uh, of products that is uh, very significant and with time pressure and so on, those are going to be uh, very important. From the enabling side, then obviously we'll have the ITC companies uh, uh, directly, but also the uh, the technology companies that are going to be doing uh, handling systems, uh, the logistics systems and so on, uh, as well as all the, the logistics and transportation service providers uh, that are going to be benefiting and contributing to, to making this happening. And users are critical to all of this because basically like the physical internet, it's been built okay, to make sure that we service better uh, the humanity and all the people in, in a way that is very efficient and, and sustainable. So basically they are the core, they are demanding more, they want shrinking price. They, they, you, you see for example free delivery on the, on the web, it's not free, it's free to you but it's been embedded in the price okay, that everybody pays. The price, the, the cost is very significant. So how can we shrink this? At the same time, how can we make the delivery much more precise in time and location to where they want? So get the, the right product to them fast and uh, fast and easy uh, for them. And making their overall life much easier than, than we have it here. So where, where they have they are cumber they've stuck with cumbersome type of processes they have to deal with. So make their life easier and, and simpler and be have much more capability and openness uh, than they have now. The, the most, uh, the biggest challenge I'd say uh, is related to the mental models and paradigms of their executive teams, okay, of their management team on one side and resulting in the business model that they've developed through the years that they've been successful at doing that they, they believe is nice and both of them are challenged by this new internet of things and physical internet type of world okay that that is popping up so on 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 the mental model is it going to really work? Is it utopia or is it really going to make make happen? Or it's good for them and it's not good for us, etc. So that kind of thinking, they have to change their mental model and that stuff. The second one is on the business model, explaining, okay, how we really got to make money in there? Okay, where the value packet? How am I going to be able to serve my customers or differentiate myself from, from competition in, in this new world? So this is very demanding. Then there is the technological challenge and the process challenge and the infrastructural challenge. But these are kind of secondary to the, the first ones that I've mentioned. Underneath all this also, there are going to be challenges that are related to incentive, to regulations, where, where now governments get in and can help tremendously in making this happen.